Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing long-term potentiation. Now, long-term potentiation, or LTP for short, is what we know in neuroscience to be the basic mechanism that underlies learning and memory. It involves a strengthening of synapses based on recent patterns of activity in the brain. So, starting um, at the synaptic level, over here we have the presynaptic membrane and the postsynaptic membrane. Now, in the presynaptic membrane, we have a neurotransmitter known as glutamate. Now, glutamate is a neurotransmitter that is primarily involved in nerve cells um, trying to send signals to other cells. So, over on the postsynaptic membrane, we're going to have two different ionotropic receptors. Over here, we're going to have our NMDA receptors, and over here, we're going to have our AMPA receptors. Now, both NMDA and AMPA are glutamate agonists, meaning that they mimic the effects of the neurotransmitter glutamate, which in essence means that glutamate is going to be able to bind to these receptors. Now, there's a few things going on here. So, um, in low-level activity, glutamate release at the synapse first only activates AMPA receptors. So once it crosses the um, synapse, it's only able to bind to the AMPA receptors, and this is because the NMDA receptors are blocked by magnesium. So because there are magnesium ions blocking the NMDA receptor, glutamate isn't really able to get to it. So it starts by binding to AMPA. And once it binds to the AMPA receptor, then the ionotropic channels open, allowing for sodium to come rushing into the cell. Now, um, if you know anything about action potential, you know that sodium rushing in leads to depolarization. And once the postsynaptic membrane is depolarized enough, that means that the inside of the cell is very positively charged. Now, this positive charge is able to activate and excite the NMDA receptors, so the magnesium is able to leave. And once the magnesium is out of the way, Then our NMDA receptors open, glutamate is able to bind, and we have another factor. Now we have calcium ions rushing in, and these calcium ions are then involved in setting off a chain of responses. So the calcium ions trigger second messengers and these second messenger systems ultimately lead to LTP and they increase the conductance of existing AMPA receptors which basically means that the more um, the more uh, stimulation going on, the more AMPA receptors will now be on the postsynaptic membrane. And this is due to the process known as upregulation, where the postsynaptic membrane will try to um, regulate for the amount of glutamate or whatever neurotransmitter is involved in that specific um, signal. It will try to regulate. So in this case, it upregulates, meaning more. Amper receptors are added, allowing for more glutamate to bind. 
and allowing for this entire process to be repeated, leading to LTP or long-term potentiation. So basically that's it. We know that there are several mechanisms underlying um, LTP and those were it. So thank you for watching. Bye.